Designing your dream kitchen is always exciting and fun. We all like to furnish it with best of things. But sometimes we do get lured by the looks. And after certain usage, we realize that functionality could have been better. Namaskar friends. In today's video, I will be sharing a few mistakes which one should avoid while designing the kitchen. I have been actively using my kitchen for the last 4 years. And I am also going to share what I could have done better in my kitchen. Let's get started. Hob or fixed cooktops look stylish due to their sleek design and neat finish. During design and installation, please ensure sufficient gap between the backsplash and rear burners. It would be impractical to keep the large vessels if the space is inadequate. This will result in over usage of front burners and under usage or no usage of rear burners. So the question is how much space? It would be a good idea to keep the largest vessel of your kitchen in mind that you use routinely like the size of the biggest cooker or kadhai. This is especially important if you have a large family and you cook in large quantities. If the width constraint on the countertop is not permitting enough gap then it is sensible to opt for a cooktop with three burners only. For my kitchen I don't face this challenge on a daily basis primarily because of my small family size. But I would have preferred a little more gap for large vessels when I cook in large quantities say when I'm hosting gatherings or guests. If you're fond of using appliances there is nothing called enough plug points and switches. Jokes apart while designing your kitchen do spare some dedicated thought on the number of plugs that you would need on a regular basis and otherwise. Their convenient and obstruction free accessible placement is the key. In the kitchen I have sufficient plug points on the countertop. But I want to talk about the position of two plug points which were missed out during the planning stage. Original plug point for the fridge is located behind it. This is pointless as I will need to move the heavy fridge if I have to switch it off or on manually for any reason or rely on home's main electrical box. We had to get this external point installed later which does not look that great but we had no other option. Similarly the switch for our microwave is at the back which is inconvenient to access. I am sure you would avoid these silly mistakes. Tall unit or pantry is very useful to keep all your groceries organized in one place. There are a lot of good built-in pantry designs that we all fall for especially with wired shelves. They may look good but take up a lot of space and poor versatility fails to accommodate all your pantry needs especially the large containers and packets. My friend is looking to get this change as she finds it a bit impractical. Even after having such a big pantry, she needs to use overhead cabinets to keep the grocery jars and spices. I was lucky to realize this point and got the pantry customized specifically for my needs that can accommodate a wide variety of items. Sometimes simple shelves and tandem drawers are what we need. A lot of you have commented and asked why I have such a small sink in the kitchen and near the cooktop. So this is not for washing utensils. It is only for washing veggies and hands while cooking which I must say is very helpful. For utensils we have a separate dedicated sink in the utility area. Anyways coming to the point whichever size or place you prefer to install make sure it does not have these raised edges. With no passage to flow back into the sink, water or liquid spills can accumulate resulting in a messy surface. Choosing a sink with flushed edges or at least some portion on the periphery should be flush for passage would be a good idea. Otherwise, it may take some time getting used to it if you opt for raised edges. So for me, now it is a known devil which I have learned to manage over time.
Pull out wicker baskets or cane baskets are very common these days in modular kitchens to store onions and potatoes. They look good but over time a lot of dust and grime accumulate inside and they lose their shine. My personal preference is perforated baskets. They are easy to remove, clean and wash. These holes ensure air circulation. Some of you commented and asked about it. I have given the link in the description box. Perforated baskets or wicker baskets, choice is completely yours. But the idea here is not to miss out the point of having proper air circulation and ease of maintenance. If you're planning to have concealed vegetable storage like mine, then don't forget to install these vents on the door for air circulation, which helps keep the veggies last longer. Also get them installed under the sink area to avoid any fungus growth due to moisture from the drainage pipe. White kitchen is like a dream to me. It looks classy and aesthetically charming. It is a myth that they are hard to maintain. Most of it can be easily taken care by simple discipline cleaning habits. I've already made a video on how I maintain my white kitchen. The link is given in the description box. Additionally, selection of items during construction will also contribute towards maintaining the white kitchen well. Don't go for flimsy or poor quality laminates which will be difficult to clean and stains will always be visible. For white kitchen, I would recommend you go for either acrylic laminate which is stain resistant or lacquered glass but they both are a bit costly. I am sure some cheaper options also must be available now. Please check with your designer and ask them to show you a physical sample. But like I said, it is more on your cleaning habits than the materials. These are tandem drawers and most of the modular kitchens have these. The question is how many should you have? Some kitchens I have seen have only two or three which are not enough. Keep one or two cabinets and rest all tandem drawers. They are very convenient and everything stored in these is very much visible from the top, making them easy to access. They can take a good amount of load so don't worry about the weight issue. Get a mix of different sizes to hold all type of cookware and utensils. Also please check the size of full plates or thalis in your house before ordering the plate rack. Many racks can't accommodate large thalis with broad edges, hence can't be used for storage which is such a waste of space. If you're planning to buy any big appliance for the kitchen after some time, then please leave the proper space for that when doing the interiors. Better to double check and triple check the measurement of the appliance and space that you have. Ensure comfortable margins for doors, ease of access and cleaning. Getting modifications for a new product can turn out to be a time-consuming, frustrating and costly affair. We did not foresee dishwasher requirement while getting our home interior done and now it is very much an integral part of my routine. Luckily, we had space in the utility area to accommodate it. Trying to accommodate a big appliance, its electrical and water connection can be tricky if you haven't thought about it earlier. For kitchen backsplash, use tiles, glass, quads, anything, but I would recommend them to be plain. Do not use tiles with grooves and cuts with fancy designs. I mean printed tiles are okay if you like them, but the surface should be plain. Over time, groove tiles can accumulate oil stains, splashes of dal, curries and cleaning becomes a tedious task whereas a plain surface is very easy to maintain. Last but not the least, please do keep your preferences, your food habits, your family size top in priority list. You are making the kitchen for your needs, not for your neighbors or YouTuber like me. Some prefer to have an open shelf for ease of access, some like to add lofts for more storage, which is absolutely fine. These were not my requirements. Adding sufficient lights is a must, but overdoing it 
is unnecessary. My requirement for shoots needed extra lights, but that may not be your requirement. That was all about this video. I hope these tips are useful and would help you design your dream kitchen. Thank you for watching this video. Please give a thumbs up and share this video with your family and friends. Do subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all the latest updates and video notifications. We'll see you all next Saturday. Happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.